But seriously, you'll learn throughout our friendship group as a trustworthy and great sounding board to anyone who ever needs you. Your loyalty and compassion for your friends and your family is something which is second to none. And honestly, we are very, very lucky to call you one of our friends. I know this is one of the reasons, and many reasons, why Stacey loves you so much. Honestly, you've both come such a long way, such a long way since meeting on your economics course in Leicester all those years ago. It's been wonderful to see you grow into the loving and happy couple that you are. You honestly do complement and complete each other. Ladies and gentlemen, I would just like to raise the final toast, lemon jello. <laughs> To Max and Stacey, may their married life give them much love, happiness and success. However, it turns out that there is another reason why Stacey was so happy. <laughs> on her first day, on her first day, on her first day at Beaumont, she met a certain Max Harmon. And we only found out about Max when Stacey started bringing him to lunch at John Lewis when we used to go and visit him. <laughs> and, and the rest, as they say, is history. <laughs> I declare that I know of no legal reason. I declare that I know of no legal reason. Why I, Maxwell Francis Thomas Harmon. <laughs> <laughs> that I, Maxwell Francis Thomas Harmon. May not be joined in matrimony to Stacey Ann Hurley. May not be joined in matrimony to Stacey Ann Hurley. I, Stacey Ann Hurley, take thee, Maxwell Francis Thomas Harmon, Maxwell Francis Thomas Harmon, to be my wedded husband, to be my wedded husband. I promise to love you, I promise to love you, cherish and encourage you, cherish and encourage you, be open and honest with you always, be open and honest with you always. Thank you. May this ring remind you always, may this ring remind you always, of the words we have spoken today, of the words we have spoken today. It's therefore my pleasure and great privilege to declare that you are now husband and wife. <laughs> oh, <that'd be> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I know. Thank you very much. Thank you so Skydiving, all with her best friends. And 
And I remember it like it was yesterday. It was the, it's got to be the only sober after body experience I've ever had. It's, <laughs> I was mesmerized, honestly. I, I left, it was like I left my body. I was love struck and I didn't know what was going on. It was weird, very, very strange. I dread to think what it looked like from your perspective. <laughs> <laughs> we shall never surrender. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. 